All right, you all are going to love this one. Yesterday on The Spew, Ted Cruz brought a meme into real life by brutally educating them about who the real election deniers are. How do you reconcile your constitutional convictions with what happened on January 6th and trying okay. to overturn the election when 60 court cases got knocked down? Yeah. And, and you just finally was, the election. was Biden legitimately did. elected because half our, the party thinks that he wasn't and it'd be very powerful for you to tell the truth. So, is it just me or is it extremely odd that the Democrat media class are so obsessed and intent on getting public fealty to Joe Biden, especially now coming from the supposed conservative. Why is it so important for them to get people to acknowledge that Joe Biden is legitimate? Especially when, as Ted Cruz is gonna point out, and I have many, many times, Democrats never think the president is legitimate when they lose. In 2000, only 15% thought Bush won the election. The other half thought he either won it through a technicality or stole it outright by cheating. In 2016, 68% of Democrats didn't think Trump was legitimate. And we all saw what that looks like in the media. We're going to get right to laughing at the spew self-ownage. But first, check out this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Hey. Did you know that silver prices are low right now? Investors are selling their holdings because of a turn down in demand. Once fears subside, we could see a surge in demand for silver as customers come back, which is why it's a perfect time to get your silver IRA started right now. And this month you'll get an incredible free three ounce silver American virtue coin with a qualified IRA of $20,000 or higher. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit Noble Gold Invest was Biden legitimately elected because half our, the party thinks that he wasn't? I don't care! Biden is the president today. There's a lot of folks in the media that any time... Hold on, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm answering exactly that question. Okay. There are a lot of folks in the media that try to, any time a Republican is in front of a TV camera, try to say the election was fair and square and legitimate. You know who y'all don't do that to? You don't do it to Hillary Clinton, who stood up and said, Trump but stole the election. They didn't storm the Capitol. Yeah, they didn't try to kill Stacey my former Abrams, who said, boss. Who said, Unreal. They're all shrieking over each other to tell us that it's different when they do it. And nobody tried to kill her boss, nor would they have any chance of doing that. The gallows misinformed doofuses like Farah used to justify this stupid talking point is actually a miniature and not actually functional. It's not unlike all those hanging bush protests we saw during his administration. And yes, there is always violence after Democrats lose an election. They rioted during Bush's inauguration and even attacked his motorcade, something that had never happened before. And you can actually see video of that at my Twitter page. They rioted at Trump's inauguration too, injuring around 20 officers. And who could forget the violent Democrat mob that attacked the White House in 2020 with the express purpose of actually getting inside and pulling Trump out. At least 60 Secret Service agents were injured in that riot. They burned down a guard post and almost a church. It got so bad they had to evacuate Trump to the White House bunker, which of course the media and Democrats mocked. The next day, tear gas was used to disperse the crowd that was still there, and the media lied about this, claiming that Trump only did it for a photo op. Of course, later this was debunked, but that's how the drive-by media operates. Their damage had already been done. Trump stole the election. You don't care. Yeah. 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 Abrams, who said, who's I don't care. We seriously have an Orwellian, running man style situation here when you have this blatant, revisionist history lying bullshit. You don't do it to Hillary Clinton, who stood up and said, Trump but stole they the election. Storm you the don't, yeah, they didn't storm the Capitol. They didn't try to kill Stacey my former Abrams, who said, boss. Who said that the election was stolen. They sat here yes. and said it was That's illegitimate. Right. And, and, it and was. you guys were fine with it. Here. Yes. And said it was That's illegitimate. Right. And, it and was. you guys were fine with it. You pale toilet complected cave beast. It's different when we call the election stolen because it actually was. Sat here yes. and said it was That's illegitimate right. and, and, it and was. you guys were fine with it. Okay, so, so, so it's illegitimate did, did when Republicans she, did, win, the, but not when Democrats win. No, win. you know, here's the thing. We may not like when Republicans win, but we don't go and we don't storm. Uh, uh, Tom, the protesting is now very intense as we're coming up here. A lot of national organization for women screaming fraud. Bush stole the election. The police are now in about three or four rows deep along here trying to push back protesters. For those of you who are watching, obviously there will be uh, intelligence agents, as it were, in that crowd. They'll be radioing those people who are walking alongside the limousine, telling them what they can expect as they approach different blocks along Pennsylvania Avenue. Maria, let's go back to you briefly. And 13th, which is not a very good place 
to pause a motorcade since it seems to be filled with protesters who are carrying the signs. You can see them. You are not my leader. Depose King Jor. Hail to the thief. Pictures of uh, the president saying wanted for murder for death penalty, illegitimate Bush. Very, very tough signs here. As I said, the motorcade has stopped. About two and a half miles of downtown uh, Washington have been closed off around uh, the Capitol building and Congress. So police will have sealed off that area, preventing those protesters being able to get through to the inauguration ceremony. Thousands of protesters also descended on Washington, D.C. Most were peaceful, but some got violent. As of this evening, 217 people have been arrested, accused of rioting during inauguration protests, and six officers have minor injuries, according to the Washington, D.C. police chief. Police had to push back the protesters so firefighters could get to the flames. Armed with hammers and bricks. Facing off with thousands of officers on site, many in riot gear, confronting them with flashbang grenades and pepper spray. You know, here's the thing. We may not like when Republicans win, but we don't go and we don't storm. <laughs> the undeniable fact here is that Democrats started all this election denial in violence. Since then, it's been a gradual escalation. And I can guarantee you, they will continue escalating if they lose. It's an entire year of Antifa riots where cities across this what, country I mean, were burning and, and police. <laughs> the left doesn't engage in violence really no they wanted to noose our friend mike pence like we how do we do, make you sense just of accused that? us of doing something we didn't do you said hillary clinton didn't say whatever she didn't say i'm saying to you listen and she said we're it's sitting here and you we were fine come, with her saying it was illegitimate come, yes, for, for republicans her it was. to win <laughs> No. She called so Donald Trump the next opinion. morning and yeah. she conceded the election, Ted. Okay. Took the Look. Call. <laughs> As did Stacey Abrams. All right. <laughs> Clinton did technically concede, only to spend four years then calling Trump and the election illegitimate. He knows he's an illegitimate president. He knows. He knows that there were a bunch of different reasons why the election turned out the way it did. Also, I heard somebody there say that Stacey Abrams conceded. We won, but I didn't lose. I got the votes, but we won't know exactly how many because of how they cheated. I did win my election. I just didn't get to have the job. We were robbed of an election. Just using the word rigged, using the word steal, do you think it's dangerous going into 2020? I, I don't, because we can actually back it up. And so in response to what I believe was a stolen election, and I'm not saying they stole it from me, they stole it from the voters of Georgia. Back to someone outside asked if I'm ever going to concede. The answer is no. This is not a speech of concession. Because concession means to acknowledge an action is right, true, or proper. And I will not concede because the erosion of our democracy is not right. She called so Donald Trump the next opinion. morning and yeah. she conceded the election, Ted. Who okay. might took the Look. call? As did Stacey Abrams. Hillary Clinton says in. Trump is an illegitimate Two president. Hillary Clinton right. says the That's... election is stolen from you. Hillary Clinton in 2002, George W. Bush was oh, selected, not, not elected. Work. Joe oh, Biden, she... Al Gore was was elected president. So Joe Biden yeah. claims George W. Bush was illegitimate. You just said we don't Bush scream at each other, right? Or, do, or, or is it just you that gets okay. to scream? Okay, no. 
So now a day after Whoopi and the gang claimed it's different when Democrats and Hillary Clinton deny election results, Hillary decides to come out with a creepy ass video suggesting that the next election will be stolen thanks to, you guessed it, a conspiracy by shadowy right-wingers. Right-wing extremists already have a plan to literally steal the next presidential election. And your dollars could very well decide the winners and the winner of the next presidential election. This could not be more important or more urgent. Not only have Democrats and Hillary denied past election results, but now she's denying future election results while spreading a dangerous conspiracy theory that if Democrats do lose, it was stolen by those right-wing fascists they were warning you about. Seems like election denial and dangerous conspiracy theories that could quite literally lead us down the road of civil war if anybody takes her seriously. Thanks all. That's all I have for that one. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe. Also, make sure to leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot.